For our next example, we're going to start querying uh, some of the product data. Um, so this is going to be top 10 products um, by profits. So we're going to go to our data source. We're going to pull in product description. And this was pulled in all 60,000 of our products. And we're going to also pull in the gross profit dollar amount since we're looking for the top 10 by profit. And as we pull in the values, you can see in the Show Me menu which of the charts are available. Um, these will become active as we pull them in. So once again, we have our bar chart, our generic bar chart. Now we want to pull in the top 10. So we're going to add another filter here. We're going to add a product description filter. Instead of using our general tab, we're going to use our top tab. We're going to select top by field. So this is going to pull in the top 10 or any number you select um, or choose to enter here um, and I'll filter. This is going to default to gross profit dollar amount, but we can also filter this based on any of the values within our data source. So once we set that, we can see that this brings in our top 10. Um, top 10 values. So for this particular example, let's try the tree map. And what this does is this is going to be color coded based on our profit, profit amount and it will also show um, the squares of the different sizes with the largest being in the upper left and gets smaller as it goes to the lower right. You can see that we have uh, tool tips and we have labels available here which go back to your marks menu. So if we want to configure some of the data that we're showing, right now this is really only showing the brand name. Let's say that we wanted also to bring in the product department and take a look at that in the label. We just pull that over. And drag that over to the label field. And then if we also wanted to see the profit dollar amount, we could bring that in too. As a default, this is going to bring in the same values for the tooltip. But if you want to add additional values, you can always pull in something like sales quantity. And the cost dollar amount. And make those available in the tooltip as well. And these are easily configurable if we wanted to um, make the product description bold or underlined to call that out a little bit more clearly. We can do that and add similar for formatting to uh, the tooltips as well. So now that we've created our top 10, let's rename this. Top 10 products by profit.